Hello everyone and welcome to Iwa Academy. My name is Chioma. Today we are going to talk about Atumatoko. Atumatoko, as we all know, is figures of speech. The figure of speech we are going to talk about today is Litot. And Litot in Igbo language is called Oku Nkutu. Nkutu. Oku Nkutu. Ikutu Oku is to bring a, a, a sentence down. Bring the sentence down. So if you're listening, okay, let me read it from him. Atumato kunka abatumato kwa nahi e kuwaru okunisi. Ona abato ku oberaka. Oba atumato ku ne kuoku ala karia otu okuseidi. Sise no dia no ku one weda ta ihe. So this. This little okunkutu is to bring down a word, a, a sentence, the meaning of a sentence. You bring it down. You know, in another speaker of speech, you talk about exaggerating something. Is that anything like under under statements? You're making a statement, but you're bringing it down. You're not exaggerating it. Omomato. Omacha si hi he ike. Omacha si hi he ike. So you're supposed to. Omacha si hi ike means that he, do, he or she doesn't know, know something very well. Or notice very well. You're just bringing it down. You don't want to exaggerate it. Like saying that this person is an itty or this person is a fool. You're just bringing it down. Number two, offer the Rwanda takiri he kaoda no la huo lelele, halere, lelere, halere. Offer the Rwanda takiri he kaoda no la huo halere. It was remaining a little for him to fill the exam. That's the root. I, number three, he says chahiyoki. He says chahiyoki. So you just on you. He says chahiyoki means that he's he's not okay. You just indirectly telling somebody that this person is mad. Though. This person, his, his senses are not with him. But you're saying it in a, in a, in a in a smaller way. You're not exaggerating it. Number four, ume ume jisi ke we beha. Ume jisike we rube ha. Ume tried and reached their house. It means, in the real sense, it means that to, to reach the house was very hard for Ume. But you're just underrating the statement that he tried to reach the house. But what it actually means is that hmm, getting to the house was a very big problem. Number four. Number five, oh, where are you for the year? Oh, where are you for the Rianuchi? Oh, where are you for the Rianuchi? Something is remaining in a sense or in its reasoning. It means that the head, as in the person, is so, somehow mad or somehow something that's taking away for the Rianuchi. It means that your head is not correct. Your head is, is touching. Something is missing in your in your thinking faculty. Number six. What kind of jiwi? Okay, that will be all. Those are the five five examples. So we know that okunkutu, okunkutu is to bring something down. Okunkutu is litos in English language, and it's to is is a is a sentence that we that we say to bring is a part of is a figure of speech and it is used to be, when we don't want to say something as it it really is to just bring it down take it down a notch so that but anybody that understands Igbo will know what you really mean like when you say that somebody amateur here so we know that when you tell somebody oh, the matter here, it means that your your thinking faculty is not complete. When you say 
He said, you are you okay? It means that you are mad. Oh, we're here for the Rianuchi. So when you say all these things, it means the person is just trying to bring, to bring the, the sentences down a notch, to take it down, to say it in a subtle way, somehow like that. It's just like an understatement of what is really happening. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe.